Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning. It's, a, it's an exciting day, the day after the throne speech, talking about the Building Alberta Plan and putting Alberta's growing savings to work for our future. You just had an opportunity to go downstairs and see why we do this every day. It's about the future of our province, and that's, that future starts with our, our children and starts with our, our community. I want to start by saying thank you to uh, the Melkor YMCA Village for hosting us, and, uh, and thank you to Nick Parkinson and his leadership team and all of his staff for the, for the work that you're doing every day, uh, assisting uh, our children, making sure that our community is a better place for, for vulnerable Albertans and for Albertans who need that uh, extra help. What you're doing here is truly innovative. Ten years ago, we would have said that affordable housing programs are about pro providing 10 to 15 percent off your rent. But thinking's evolved. We've innovated. We understand that Albertans aren't ach weren't achieving success simply by saving some money on their rent. What you see around you, the Melkor YMCA Village, is a 150-unit apartment complex for Albertans and Alberta families that provide affordable quality living with vital community services and programs, including a family resource center and the daycare that we were in today. We needed to innovate to get to this model. This is a model of success. And that's why I'm so excited to be here today and to have, be here with our Premier as she talks about her bill, her priority, Bill 1. And with us today are my Minister colleagues, Minister Olson, Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Minister Klumchuk, Minister of Culture. Uh, Minister Bueller uh, unfortunately couldn't join us, but he is uh, part of our team that's working uh, on these innovative endowments to make sure that they come to fruition. We're standing here today because Bill 1 affects all of our work as indeed it affects all Albertans and will transfer knowledge to all of Canada. I'm also happy to be joined today by several guests who will be working with us along the way. Gerard Oishi from the Calgary Homeless Foundation. Gerard literally just flew back here from Montreal because the news was so exciting. No. <laughs> uh, where he and my Deputy Minister Steve McDonald were meeting with foundations about social innovation. The Calgary Homeless Foundation is doing some very interesting social innovation work. We're also joined by Justin Bertignoli from Finance for Good. Justin's organization is a nonprofit organization that was founded to empower social service providers to address the root cause of social issues through the use of social impact bonds. Carl Amrine, Provost of the University of Alberta, is here as well. Carl is here representing the U University of Alberta and Indira Samarasekara today. Indira wanted to be here. Uh, she isn't able to make it. But I'm so glad that Carl is here because I can still remember Indira's first speech, uh, or at least the first speech I heard with her, where she focused on social innovation and talked about the fact that we had the Heritage Medical Research Fund and we had the Alberta Ingenuity, the Engineering Fund, but we didn't have a social endowment fund to do the social research and the social innovation. And that was years ago. Roger Palmer is here as the board chair of the Alberta Centre for Child, Family and Community Research. The centre is a partnership between Alberta's universities, the community, and the Alberta government. The Centre is an innovative leader in the development and dissemination of policy-relevant evidence. And we're also joined by Dr. Ty Fechner. He's the uh, re Executive Director of the Agriculture Research and Extension Council of Alberta. His council is an association of non-profit producer groups dedicated to enhancing sustainability and profitability of agriculture in Alberta. It's just very exciting for us that the Premier has made these endowments and the savings management plan as bill number one. It's an agenda setting piece for the government and I'm very pleased that Premier Redford is here to speak about bill number one, the Savings Management Act. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. I, I'm glad everyone's inside wearing jackets. I was downstairs talking to a four-year-old girl who explained to me it was minus 27, so she would not be playing outside today. <laughs> and I thought she was very sensible. <laughs> But uh, it is wonderful to be here at the Y and to be in this incredible building and to be here with all of you who are such thought leaders in terms of innovation in this province. And I was very excited yesterday to have the opportunity to introduce Bill 1 on behalf of my ministerial colleagues. Uh, we're very excited about the future of, uh, of this province as I think people are that come here every single day, 100,000 people a year, because they're coming because of the quality of life that we have. And you'll know that very often I'll talk about the fact that 
as Albertans, one of the things that we're constantly challenged to do in government is to think to the future and to not simply accept the fact that we do have tremendous resources and that we're blessed to live here, but to ensure that we're making the right decisions today for the future. You know, we promised as a government that we would invest in families and communities, that we would open new markets, and we would ensure that we were being fiscally responsible with the resources that we have here in this province. And Bill 1 will help us to do that. We promise to support innovation and skills training. Bill 1 will help us to do that. We promise to invest in families and communities, and Bill 1 will help us to do that. The Savings Management Act is an essential part of the next phase of our Building Alberta plan. It strikes the right balance between saving for the future and putting our growing savings that are in the Heritage Fund to work for that future by funding innovation and by diversifying our economy. The Act does this by creating two new innovation endowments, enhancing the Alberta Heritage Scholarship Fund and establishing the Alberta Future Fund. This will foster research, strengthen our economy, help us to solve social issues and take full advantage of the province's tradition of world-class research and technological know-how. Alberta is an export-driven economy and market access is critical to our long-term prosperity. The Agriculture and Food Innovation Endowment will fund research in rural Alberta, improving producers' competitive edge and helping them to diversify their products. It will set up the province's agriculture and food processing sectors to become preferred suppliers in the global marketplace. A skilled workforce is just as indispensable to our economy, so the Alberta Heritage Scholarship Fund will provide for trades training. Money from the fund will go to help apprentices complete their programs and encourage outstanding students to reach for their dreams of professional achievement. Albertans have told us that they want to live in caring and respectful communities. We all do as Albertans. And the Social Innovation Endowment will help social services and the cultural sector to find solutions to the most pressing problems that we face as a society. The endowment will promote creative cooperation with the not-for-profit sector. It will spur the development of new funding models and new forms of service delivery, such as social impact bonds, so that our most vulnerable can get the best possible outcome from the supports that they rely on. Finally, our government knows that we must be prepared to seize advantage quickly. And that's why we're using the Savings Management Act to create the Alberta Future Fund. The fund will provide government with the resources ahead of time to make the most of large-scale opportunities that benefit the whole province. The Savings Management Act will let us accomplish all of this while still enabling Alberta's savings to grow by $2.8 billion over three years. Our government's Building Alberta plan is all about investing in families and communities, ensuring that government lives within its means and opening new markets. The Savings Management Act complements every one of these core principles, and it helps Alberta's best and brightest in many different sectors to take their greatest ideas from theory to design to reality. This government was elected to plan for the long term and to lead positive change, and that's what we're hard at work doing every day. The Savings Management Act is another way in which we're building happy, healthy, successful futures for the kids here at the YMCA Melcor Village Daycare and communities across the province. It's another way that we're keeping our promises to Albertans. Thank you.